Hi, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress 4.0 that was just released yesterday to your cPanel or web hosting. Now, in this tutorial, I'm using HostGator and of course you can use any other host that you prefer. The process will be just similar, so let's get started. First, uh, let me close this uh, tab and uh, we go to our domain. So let's um, let's say that you've already signed up with your host and you choose your own domain name. So what you're going to do is type your domain name on the browser. So I'm going to type it as wbhowtosite.com because this is my domain name. So as you can see it's showing something like this because I haven't uploaded any files or installed any uh, WordPress websites in my domain. So what we're going to do is you can click on uh, cpanel login or you're going to your web browser and then type forward slash after your domain name and then type in on cpanel and it will uh, redirect you to the cpanel login so hit enter and it will show you cpanel login so how can you know about username and the password so after signing up with hostgator uh, you should uh, receive kind of uh, account info something like this uh, Yours might look different, but uh, it will be same content. So shared plan and your cont uh, control panel or cPanel uh, login link and your username and so forth. So what you can do is copy the username here, copy that and paste that here in the username uh, place. And then uh, the password, copy this and paste it here in the password area and then hit login or hit enter. So it will uh, lock you in straight to your uh, cPanel. And of course, uh, of course, the first thing that I recommend is changing your password. So I'm just going to close everything here. And uh, you, what you're going to do first after you lock in to the first time to your cPanel is looking for password in the find area here. And then as you can see, you can now change your password here in this uh, icon. But in this tutorial, we are going to install WordPress 4.0, so I'm going to skip this because it's a, an easy step, by the way. So in the find area here, the s next step is we're going to look for uh, MySQL. MySQL, and it will show you the database tools, and what we're going to look is MySQL databases. So let's click on that. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create new database and create new user. So I'm going to just hit close to. So before we do that, we're going to open uh, text edit. There it is, my text edit. And here we're going to uh, name our new database as anything that easy to uh, remember but hard to guess. So I'm going to just type random or just type in new uh, BL and then some number here and then hit on create database button. Now as you can see edit the database and name this. So we're going to copy this and open your text edit again and paste it here. This is for the database name. So we're going to type in on db uh, name and then colon and then hit go back. Next is we're going to add the user to this database. If you see here in the table, uh, we have database, but we don't have user. So what we're going to do next is create a new username here. And our username will be something like DB uh, USR and some number. Okay. And then uh, the password, again, we use a password generator and advanced options we choose on 18 uh, characters and generate password password sorry and then copy all of this password hit cancel open your text edit and hit enter one time db uh, user pass and we have it here and we're going to add some character and number maybe okay so it will uh, it will be strong so we're going to copy this uh, password and paste it here and password again and then create user. Now that it uh, it, it tell us the uh, username this is already created with this password but we've already copied the password so we're going to copy the username. So copy this, open text edit again and uh, 
db username come on and paste it here okay so then next is we're going to hit go back button next is we're going to scroll down and uh, add user to the, data, to the database so uh, because I've just created one uh, user in one database so there is no other choice but if you have many you can click on the drop down menu here and select uh, your new created database and the username so what I'm going to do after selecting the user and the database correctly I'm going to hit on add button and here I'm going to click on all privileges and then click on make changes and then hit go back so now after the database has the username this uh, what we need to do next is uploading the WordPress files so let's go to home on the cPanel here just going to click in no thanks and here on the find we're going to uh, need to find file manager if you click on file it shows you anything that contains files wording and now here in the files tab we see file manager click on that and here we're going to choose on document root for so check on this and select your domain but because I have just one domain so I'm just going to select my only one domain here and then after that click go button here we're going to choose on public underscore HTML click on that and here you see that I have now uh, two files that actually are coming by default if you sign up to his schedule so the default HTML is this one uh, so I'm just going to open my how uh, domain name so wbhowtosite.com and then forward slash and default HTML. I know it's not relevant but um, it's uh, maybe you will need to understand the files uh, in your cPanel so if I hit enter now it will show you something that uh, shown in uh, early step on this video if you uh, want to access your file because this default HTML is actually displaying this content so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of uh, files that we don't need for example like default.html and favicon.ico that we don't need because uh, this one uh, is not ours so just going to uh, hit your shift key and then click all of them and then click on delete button and click delete files so now that our files is clean make sure that you are on public underscore .html. the next step is we're going to download WordPress so we're going to Google uh, download WordPress and then here as you can see we have WordPress uh, download uh, link here should be in the first row so click on that uh, URL and let me first close this uh, Gmail email because we don't need it so today as the video recorded it shows us the recent version which is the WordPress 4.0 I want to create the video because I want to um, to try the new language uh, options before installation so let's download WordPress 4.0 So when it's downloaded, depends on where you save your uh, WordPress files. Uh, mine, I save it in my desktop. As you can see, I have a WordPress 4.0 and .zip. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, upload this .zip file to our uh, server. So let's close the finder and go back again to our cPanel, but close this tab. And here we're going to upload that files. If you like, you can also check again if you are inside public underscore HTML uh, path in your web server. Then we're going to click on upload button there and choose files and then look where your WordPress.zip file, there it is, and select that file, click open. And it will show you uh, the process of the uploading. So when it's complete, it's saying complete wording here. Then what we can do back to our path, click that. And you should see .zip file here. And if you don't see that, you can click on reload and you should see .zip file. Next is we're going to select that .zip file and then uh, click extract button on the top. And click on extract files. And hit close. Now we select that .zip file again and then delete it because we don't need it. 
and now you see that we have WordPress. So now if you uh, type in on wbhowtosite.com, your domain, and hit enter, you will still see that because we haven't cleaned our uh, browser cache, but actually you don't see your WordPress files because you have the WordPress in a folder. Why do I need to mention this? Uh, because I guess it's very important to show this uh, also to troubleshoot your uh, WordPress site in the future if you find this problem. So as you can see that we have WordPress folder. So uh, to access our WordPress folder is uh, we go to our browser again and then type forward slash and then type in on WordPress. So this is the folder that we see or that uh, our WordPress files is in. So after that hit, sla uh, hit enter. And as you can see, now we can install WordPress, but it will, uh, by the way, it installed inside the WordPress folder and you don't want that. You want to install it to your domain. So that's why uh, we're going to close this installation uh, process again and go to our cPanel again. And we want to move or to delete this WordPress folder and move all the files to the root directory. So what we're going to do is select that WordPress uh, folder and then double click it. And here, as you can see, we see the WordPress files. Now next is we're going to select all and then click on move file. And here we're going to delete this WordPress folder. Delete that and then click on move files. So as you can see, this WordPress folder now empty. And what we're going to do, click on up one level to see our WordPress files. So what we next is we're going to select this WordPress folder and delete it. So now, as you can see, we have all of WordPress 4.0 here in our root directory. And if you like, you can uh, go to readme.html, same with the default HTML earlier. We're going to type in our domain, wbhowtosite.com, and then forward slash and readme.html, and hit enter. And as you can see, now you can uh, read anything here that actually important if you have time even there are online resources and the guide how you can update or install uh, WordPress um, for Pino. Uh, after you're done we're going to uh, close this tab and then install WordPress so again wbhowtosite.com or utomain.com and hit enter and if you see something like this so as I mentioned earlier, you see that the browser cache is not yet clean. If you if you st uh, if you see the same thing here, what you can do is clean your uh, browser cache. If you use Chrome, you can just uh, go to this area and then Tools and clear browsing data. Let's uh, select that, and it will clear browsing data or clearing our browsing data. And after we doing that close that and then uh, refresh again to our domain and it should show us the installation process. So now we can choose the language in WordPress 4.0. So here you can choose any language that you can speak of and you prefer but for now I'm just leave it as English United States and then hit continue. And here it will come to us and what we need to uh, doing the next steps and hit let's go button and the database name this is where our text edit or text editor useful in this type so our database name is this copy and paste it here and then the username of the database is this and then the password of the database is this And then the database host should be localhost. If it doesn't work with localhost, contact your host. And the table prefix, uh, we, can, we can choose anything and some number. This is why I prefer to install it manually because you will not have to change the table prefix later on because of the security issue. And the next is we're going to click on submit. And click on run the install button. So my site title would be blog web 6 table for example and my username would be Kimi uh, web 6 and the password I'm going to uh, type in my password here 
and make sure that it's so strong and my email address I'm just going to use my email address and the privacy uh, this is what important if your site is new I will uncheck allow search engine to index this site because you're going to build your site first and then allow uh, the search engine indexing your site after it's uh, built and then click on install WordPress and now we're going to log in to our dashboard the username you're going to type in your username which mine was kimiweb6 and the password is uh, the password that you've just entered in the installation process and then click on login so there it is our WordPress 4.0 so let's scroll down and as you can see here we use WordPress version 4.0 and also in your home area you can uh, I mean in the dashboard area you can click on about WordPress and you can see the uh, nice features that are added in WordPress 4.0 which is actually not the big uh, update but uh, still fixing the existing features in the previous version so that's all guys how you can install WordPress 4.0 and thank you so much for watching this video and uh, see you in the next video goodbye